Now, the WGAL News 8 Storm Team forecast with meteorologist Mary Ellen Pan. Good morning. The rain from yesterday is long gone, leaving us with still plenty of cloud cover, especially this afternoon. It will be a breezy, cool day. The shower threat is low, but we could still see some stray showers bubble up later this afternoon. Now, as we head into the work week, we're still going to be seeing cloud cover. It looks like those brighter skies will hold off until the middle part of the week and rain chances. Our next storm system will come in towards the end of the week and heading into next weekend. Here's a look at Super Doppler 8 and uh, you can see the area is mostly dry, seeing the clouds break up a little bit here. So we will see some sunshine early this morning, but we still have some upper level energy that will make those clouds fill right back in. And you can see some showers coming down from Williamsport. A lot of that's drying up, but I can't rule out a couple of showers holding together as they continue to move to the south. So your News 8 Storm Team forecast today calls for peaks of sun. There could be a few stray showers. Most of you will stay dry today. It'll be all about the cool temperatures in the 50s and the wind, which will be about 10 to 20 miles per hour this afternoon out of the north northwest. Partly to mostly cloudy tonight, a crisp night. Temperatures fall back into the mid and upper 40s. Winds still a bit on the breezy side. And then tomorrow we're still dealing with considerable cloudiness. Again, in the afternoon, some stray showers will be possible. Still a cool day with temperatures in the mid to upper 50s. However, don't let the clouds or the cool temperatures keep you from heading out to the National Apple Harvest Festival. We're looking good today. Temperatures in the mid to upper 50s. Uh, again, just that stray shower chance. Otherwise, it's a mix of clouds and a little bit of sunshine. Look at through our Harrisburg sky cam and seeing those cloud covers cloud cover break up on our sky cams this morning. So I do anticipate some sunshine early 49 or 48 right now in Lebanon, 49 in Reading, 47 in York, mid 40s in Gettysburg and in Chambersburg where those clouds have really cleared out quickly. 52 in Carlisle winds right now anywhere from 10 to 15 miles per hour. A few spots a little bit less than that. However, as we look at our predictor, the winds will be picking up about 10 to 20 miles per hour as we go through the afternoon and then by this evening they'll start to to relax a bit and fall back to about 5 to 10 miles per hour. Area of low pressure that brought us that rain continues off the coast and lifts to the east northeast, but we still have these little spokes of energy in the upper levels and we still have this deep trough. So this energy continues to swing through. We've got some colder air in the upper levels that helps to reproduce those clouds, even though we see a little bit of sunshine. And again, that shower threat is low and it will be very isolated to stray. So most of you will not see any rain at all. But here's a look at predictor and you can see it's kind of hinting at a couple of those showers popping up. And then as we head into tomorrow, we'll see those clouds really building back in. And again, we could see a couple of showers bubble up in the afternoon and early evening. And then Tuesday, we start out with a fair amount of clouds. However, late in the day, we start to see that cloud cover break up. And that leads to a really nice day on Wednesday as high pressure builds in and we finally see that sunshine coming back in full force Wednesday and Thursday. And that's when we'll see temperatures getting back into the mid and upper 60s. Friday, we're still in the mid 60s, but rain chances will increase as we head into the afternoon and the evening. It looks like that rain will continue on Saturday. Some of the models are hinting that it won't be a complete washout. The best chance would be in the early part of the day, but we'll keep you posted uh, as we head through the week. 62 for the high and then temperatures are back into the 50s by Sunday.